Hello biologists, this is Miss R and we're going to talk about two things in lab 3.06. Mitosis and meiosis. In this program we're going to look at mitosis versus meiosis and then compare. And then we're going to talk about sexual and asexual reproduction and the energy costs for each of those. By um, We're going to pretend we're three different types of lizards. First we're going to go to the program that looks at mitosis and meiosis. And you can see these tabs here will show us the two different forms of cell division. Mitosis is used for body cells and it has fewer phases here. You'll see the phases kind of click by as the cell up here goes through them or the real cell down here goes through them. Here's meiosis. You can see it has more phases. It's going to go through more things and turn into more cells. Meiosis is just for creating sex cells. That's eggs and sperm. So ladies, you'll never do meiosis. You were born with all of your eggs. You'll never need to do meiosis. Guys, you're going to keep doing meiosis for quite some time. Finally, we'll get to the compare tab and we'll look at the differences in these phases and we can look at mitosis and meiosis happen at the same time. So let's go to this program. So let's read a little bit about cell division. Parent cells that undergo mitosis produce two identical daughter cells. Mitosis is just for reproducing all the regular cells in your body like your nose cells and your ear cells and your toe cells and your finger cells that um, kind of wear out and need to be replaced on almost a daily basis. Different cells in your body, not every cell needs to replace every day, but on a daily basis your body is replacing different cells in your body. This occurs in humans and other multicellular organisms producing new cells. It's also how many other single cell organisms asexually reproduce. Asexually reproducing organisms don't need to make eggs and sperm, they just clone themselves and their um, offspring are exactly the same, which um, is kind of boring, but is great because it's quick and easy. In organisms that reproduce sexually, um, like most animals, meiosis produces sex cells, that's eggs and sperm, with half the number of chromosomes found in other cells. That's because an egg cell and a sperm cell get together and then they have the right number. You'll see animations of these processes along with movies of actual cells um, on the next pages. Okay, let's watch mitosis happen here. You can see the interphase has already gone by. And the chromosomes here are moving around. And let's see what happens to those chromosomes. You can see here in the real cell what's going on as well. You can see that all the chromosomes they line up kind of single file here on the what's called the equator of the cell, just like the equator of the Earth. You can see down here the same thing is happening. All these chromosomes are lining up. And this is called metaphase or the middle phase. So you can see this is the phase we're on right here. We're going to go to anaphase next. The chromosomes will go to the each side of the cell and you'll see like if this is chromosome number one this side has two copies of number one and two copies of number two. Before it had four now it has two. It's back to having the right number. The cell had to copy all of its DNA, all of its chromosomes before it divided and now it's divided that back up and it's back to just having two copies in each cell. Cytokinesis is where it splits and then the cell goes back into something called interphase where it kind of rests for a while and it might get ready to divide again. So now let's go to meiosis. Remember meiosis is just for making sex cells. Your normal body cells don't go through meiosis. So let's watch these phases here. Let's see how many phases there are. You can see it says prophase one now, not just prophase. That's because meiosis has more phases. It's more complicated. And look, 
these chromosomes kind of swapped some genes here. That's called crossover, and that make, helps make genetically unique organisms. That's an important part of the advantages of sexual reproduction or making eggs and sperm. And look at how they line up here. There's two of them together. So if this is two copies of chromosome one, there's actually one, two, three, four copies of chromosome number one and chromosome number two. And they've kind of switched some of their genetic material. If this is the chromosome you got from your dad and this is the chromosome you got from your mom, you've kind of mixed up your mom's and dad's chromosomes. And here's telophase one. Notice these are kind of still stuck the, together. So they're still an X. And when it divides the first time here in cytokinesis, it still has an X and an X. That's different from mitosis. It just had a line and a line. Because this still has two copies. And it's going to go down to one copy here. Now it's going to divide again because we have to get down to only one copy of each chromosome in eggs and cells because when they combine they're going to take one in the egg, one in the sperm and put it together so they can have two copies. Because you get one chromosome from your dad and one chromosome from your mom. And so you have two copies of each chromosome. So you can see that the two cells that already divided are dividing again. and we're in telophase two. Notice there are more phases and some of the phases are labeled one and some of the phases are labeled two. So here's one copy of chromosome one and here's one copy of chromosome two. One copy of chromosome one, co one copy of chromosome two. And you can see kind of, they got a little bit mixed up. The, mom did, chrom the chromosome you got from your mom and the chromosome you got from your dad kind of switched over some genes to make totally new chromosomes, which is really cool. Hello, we're gonna look at now the difference between mitosis and meiosis and we're gonna compare. Um, we're going to find cells that divide by meiosis only in your reproductive system. Now we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. And we're going to look at one gene as it's highlighted in yellow on one of the blue chromosomes. And as the phases change, the gene will be shown with a spotlight. Track what happens to that yellow gene in the spotlight um, after a cell undergoes mitosis and after a cell undergoes meiosis. Remember, we're comparing mitosis, which is made, used for making body cells, with meiosis, which is used for making sex cells, that's eggs and sperm. So let's watch it happen. Here's our one chromosome that we're looking at. This is prophase and prophase one in meiosis. It kind of looks a little bit the same. Um, but you can see that crossover has occurred here in meiosis that mixes up the two different chromosomes, the one you got from mom and the one you got from dad. You can see that they line up on the equator a little bit differently. This lines up as pairs, pairs with pairs, kind of like a double date. This is more like elementary school. Here's that chromosome still. You can see this is broken down. It's got two copies of chromosome number one and two copies of chromosome number two. And so it's set to go, it's set to be another cell. Meiosis is still going here. It's got to divide again, so it gets down to one copy of each chromosome. Because you only want eggs and sperm to have one copy, so when they get together, the cell that happens when they get together, eggs and sperm get to make one cell. The sperm basically injects its DNA into the egg they each only have one copy. You can see here's one copy of one, here's one copy of two. 
This one's got four, this one's only got two. And that's good because let's say this was an egg cell and this was a sperm cell, which wouldn't happen in one single organism, but when they got together, they would look again kind of like this one. Okay, let's do some comparison between what we saw in mitosis and meiosis. Did the chromosomes light up the equator? Yes. For both of them, they both lined up at the equator and got kind of pulled apart. How many phases were there all together? Well, let's go to the next slide, slide to look. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven phases in mitosis. Remember, that's just for making good old regular body cells. And meiosis has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is seven, mitosis is seven, it's simpler. And meiosis to make sex cells is 12. So here's seven, that's what your cells do every day, it's pretty simple. Does crossover occur? No, you get exactly the same chromosomes when you copy your cells on an everyday basis. But when you make sex cells, you do cross over the chromosome you got from dad and the chromosome you got from mom. They kind of mix up their genes and you get new chromosomes. How many cells are produced? We saw two in mitosis and four in meiosis. Are the cells same as the parent? Yes, in mitosis, you produce exact copies. In meiosis, no, you make genetically unique cells because you mix up those chromosomes and you get new gene combinations. Mitosis doesn't make sex cells. Your cells are doing it right now. Meiosis, yes, makes eggs and sperm. For humans, ladies, you've already done all your meiosis before you were born. Guys, as long as you're making sperm, you're doing meiosis. Um, you can see the comparisons again. Um, let's do kind of a compare contrast like you may have do in your English class. Um, here's a Venn diagram. This is only mitosis. This is only meiosis. And this is both. We're going to represent both here in the middle. We're going to represent only mitosis over here and only meiosis over here. I've already filled in some of these things that we've already talked about. Mitosis makes body cells. Meiosis doesn't. It only makes sex cells like eggs and sperm. Both make new cells. Mitosis goes from two copies in your everyday regular old nose cells, has two copies of each chromosome. When your uh, nose cell gets ready to divide, it makes four copies of each chromosome and then it divides and goes back to two. Meiosis, on the other hand, that happens in your reproductive organs, starts with two, goes to four, goes down to two, and then goes to only one. Both, in both mitosis and meiosis, your chromosomes have to get copied before the cells divide. In mitosis, you're producing a cell that's exactly the same as the parent cell. They're both made from parent cells, but in meiosis you end up with something that's genetically different from the parent. Um, this, we found out, has fewer steps. Mitosis is fewer steps, and it's simpler, which is great if you're an organism that's simple like bacteria, and you just want to make a ton more copies of yourself really quickly, doing mitosis over and over again is a very good strategy for you. Both have multi, not multiple steps. This is more steps, and so it's more complicated and it takes more time. And your cell has to have a little bit more complicated machinery to do meiosis. So let's think about, um, as we go on to lizards, Lizards are special because there's one kind of lizard that can produce asexually. A lizard's eggs are formed by meiosis, and when they make new cells, mitosis comes into play. When the egg and sperm join, that's one cell, and to make more lizard cells out of that embryonic lizard, you gotta do mitosis. 
So the asexual lizard, uh, female lizard, doesn't need a partner. And so she might be saving 